After a brief encounter with the tabletop injection molder back in school, I certainly wanted to get more involved. I particularly was more interested in injection molding some small accessories that sometimes are used for custom furniture. I'm also interested in exploring how to use recycled plastic for STEM educational projects. But now, I know that a manual injection mold is very manually taxing. So, I immediately knew that I had found a solution when I saw the precious plastic log splitter based injection mold. Before I continue, let me take this opportunity to introduce myself, especially to those visiting the channel for the first time. My name is Gianna Diambo, and this channel is all about having fun with design and manufacturing. Feel free to check out my other videos like the e-scooter build, the laptop holder build, the CNC machine build, and many, many, many more. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. I began the project by searching for a used 5-ton log splitter. I then went ahead and ordered the precious plastics injection barrel from their bazaar. Now, remember that you could also make the barrel as shown depending on your preference. But remember that you could also purchase these items separately from the Amazons and the Ebays and then assemble them yourself. I attached the barrel via an adapter to the existing four holes on the lock splitter as shown and used two U-bolts and aluminum plates to secure the plunger side. My initial intention was to use a standard piping fitting for the nozzle, but I couldn't find a 3 quarters 14 female reducer coupler to adopt as a nozzle. I therefore wound up machining one from scratch out of stainless steel. I will be molding a miniature robotic arm that could be possibly used for STEM education and a cellular phone holder. If you are in a region that has a lot of recycled plastics available to you, these could be some good projects to venture into. These projects also do require some CNC machining, especially to machine the molds. After 3D printing the models, I developed the molds and CNC machined them out of aluminum. My test projects were going to be out of RPP or recycled polypropylene obtained from Mr. Green Plastics in Nairobi, Kenya during my visit. Shout out to Mr. Green Plastics. Prior to melting the plastic, it is beneficial to first compress the plastic inside the barrel. Confirm the plastic has melted before attaching the mold. Note, also remember that it is recommended to warm up the mold before plunging.
After releasing the parts from the mold, a closer inspection of the finish revealed that some sections of the flat surfaces slightly deform after cooling. I suspect that this might be solved maybe by preheating the mold more, modifying feature design, ETC. I mean, I'm yet to find out.